sugar beet truck wagon boy, we've been cooking and getting ready for you all day long. I do believe it's smelling pretty good. Now, I just got through talking to our famous truck wagon cook, and he tells me that we're right on time and ready to go. What do you think about that? Oh, I think it's a good thing when you're on time and you're talking about the groceries. Boy, you don't want to be late with the groceries now. When I was talking to him, though, he did happen to mention that we have one little problem in the kitchen tonight. Well, actually, it's worse than one. We have ten problems in the kitchen tonight. Would you believe of all the nights that you nice people came out to the Circle B chuck wagon? Well, we're missing ten big homemade biscuits out of the kitchen. That's right, lady. Uh oh, unbelievable but true. Ten big biscuits are missing out of the kitchen now. When you have this many people, ten's not that big a deal unless you're the last ten people in line. And then all of a sudden, I've got a little attitude about it all because I want my biscuits too. I'll tell you what, everybody likes a big homemade biscuit. Now, kids, I've got to ask you have you seen anybody walking around these here parts taking biscuits? Oh, you're oh, how about over here? Have you seen anybody with oh, biscuits in their pockets? Oh, if you haven't seen anybody, it can only mean one thing, and I hate to bring it up, I hate to say it, I hate to mention his name, but what it means is there's a mean critter in town, and his name is Juan, the notorious biscuit bandit. Now, have you seen that biscuit bandit anywhere? Hey, watch out there, cowboy! Watch out there, lady, you're going to get... Out there. Can you believe it? No sooner said than the biscuit bandit showed up with it. I almost think we had that plan. But we did have a plan. Kids, we got to make ourselves a posse and go get that cowboy. So, all you cute little cowboys and cowboys, come on around me over here and let's make ourselves a posse. That's right. Come on over here, kids. We got to go get those biscuit bandits. We gotta get him. We gotta get him. Okay, now kids, the guy that I saw, he was running that away. Is that the guy you saw? Yeah. Is that the guy you saw? Yeah. I can't hear you. Yeah. Okay, and then the guy I saw, now he was running around the building like that. Is that the guy you saw? Yeah. Okay, now here's what you gotta do. You gotta go that way, then you go that way. Now, when you find the biscuit man, then you can't grab him. No, he's got a gun. So, when you find him, what you do is you run back here as fast as you can and tell all these nice people where he is so I can shoot him just a little bit. But before you go, you've got to be official deputies of the Circle B Chuck Wagon. So, raise your hand and repeat after me. Said this way now, I promise, I promise. to me. A deputy of the Circle B in South Dakota and to go get that biscuit bandit because we're hungry. Oh, that's a good reason. Now go get that crazy biscuit bandit. There they go. What's up, folks? You might get bent over right there. There you go, look around there, kid. Whoa, boy. You don't want to find the biscuit bandit. You better get back over here, kid. That's a nice guy, crazy biscuit. You come back over here, kids. You've got to watch out for those biscuit bandits. Get back this way. I'll tell you what, now, Mr. Bandit, just hold on there. Well, we've got some nice kids here tonight. They don't want to be trouble. All they want is those biscuits back. So why don't you hand them over, cowboy? He just shakes his head. No. Oh, well, if I said please, would it make any difference? No. Well, what should I do? That's a great answer. Okay, well, can I give you one more chance? That's good. We'll give you one more chance, Mr. Banner. We're gonna give you one more chance now. Just put your gun down, real slow. Like, watch out, kids. He's he's fast. He's slow. 
when he's fast. <laughs> Watch out for that brick, What are you doing to my gun? Oh. That biscuit man, I've got it. Watch out. You can't be taking our biscuits, cowboy. Cowboy, you're shot. Lay down. <laughs> yes, he's had so many biscuits, he doesn't even know when he's shot. Oh, look, he's still moving. That's a good sign. Let's see if we can pick him up. Yeah. Oh, he's walking. That's even a better sign. Now, kids, the first thing you got to do when you have a shootout is check him out. Make sure he doesn't have any holes in him because I've got to use him tomorrow night. All right? Give him a big hand there, folks. Thank you very much.